My name is Katrina Williams. Mm -hmm. I've been working for Youth in Need Shelter for nine months now. Um, and I'm a relief care worker. We had a youth. Um, she was pregnant. And she had a child already. Sat and we talked for a long time. And I told her, I said, you know what? You never let a dark past ruin your bright future. And... She was like, Miss Katrina, what do you mean by that? And I was like, you know, everybody has a dark past, but don't dine on all the bad things. Like, strive towards more the positive stuff. Like, just because you got a kid doesn't mean that you can't finish high school. Just because you've been through a lot of mm, traumas in your life doesn't mean you can't get past them. So... She was like, you know what, I like that, Miss Katrina. So I called her one day, she was just doodling and just writing it down. She just kept saying, never let a dark patch ruin your bright future. And I was like, okay. So I hope she thinks about that when she's making choices in life. My name is Nicole Briones. I work at Boone Slicks Administration Building and I am the administrative assistant. I'm a parent and an employee. Um, I started off um, out at the Winsville Center with Youth in Need, and then I got promoted here to the administration building. So Rachel Berkowitz and Tiffany Flaherty were the first two people I ever met, and they used to come and do birthing classes and just regular teen parent classes to help you out. Um, hi, I'm Pat Holterman Homus, and I'm the Chief Program Officer here at Youth in Need. I tell you, there's a young person that I worked with for, for several years um, named Jennifer who um, went through multiple programs at Youth in Need through our shelter, um, through our uh, residential program for girls called Cornerstone. Um, she was there for several years and through our transitional living program and she was very, very, very challenging. Um, at one point she wrote a letter to our CEO asking him to fire me because she um, she was so she was so upset with me about something. Um, she she tried the patience of every staff member, um, and ultimately um, left our transitional living program unsuccessfully. She was kicked out for um, for doing drugs, um, but she has stayed in touch. And now, at the age of twenty nine, she's in graduate school um, to become a therapist. <laughs> And um, she recently got uh, her first job and got a, a life insurance policy as part of her empl uh, employment package. And she named Youth in Need as the beneficiary of her life insurance.